Hey guys, just a quick update. I don't know if you guys I even care enough, but our Chris Evans that I left to talk to himself for ages, um, where did, I can't even remember we uh, left him off at, right? So I said goodbye. Dear, I promise to change. Please, dear, don't, don't said such words. I will really change. Please, you can give a chance. I promise to give you my main profile so that we can chat over there. I am so sorry for the pain I caused you. I know that I hurt you deeply and for that I am truly sorry. I'm very, very sorry, sad face. And I can assure you that I'm going to change and I will stop all this. We can be good friends. I also want to learn a lot from you, if that's cool by you, dear. I said, just go away. I'm so sorry if that's hurt. Should I send you my real Facebook account so that we can chat over there? Sends another photo. This is me, dear, please. I'm so sorry for hurting you. Can we be friends? Please, please. I will also give you my WhatsApp so that we can chat over there too. Sends another photo. I will text you with my real Facebook account now. Should I? Please, please. I'm so sorry. I said, just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Crawl away with whatever dignity you have left and make better choices. Thank you, dear, for understanding me. Can I text you with my real account? I said, no, that's not an invitation. That's me telling you to bugger off. Okay, please, please, please. Can I text you now with my real profile? Question mark. Please say yes. Thumbs up. Please, I beg in the name of God. I just text you with my real Facebook account, Rash BK. He tried to ring me. I'm so sorry for bothering. I wanted to apologize to you. That's why I call you, but I will not bother you anymore. And then left this voice note. I just want to say sorry. I'm so sorry if that hurts you. I'm really going to change. You can't be cool friends if that's not a problem. <laughs> so I said, go away, please. He tried to call. I thought you make me change. I will also be with me to also teach me some things. Sorry for bothering you. Send another photo. I'm not handsome, right? Laughing emoji. Sending another photo. Love hearts himself. Please forgive me. And finally toddled off. So I thought I'd uh, let you guys hear that one. Um, the voice note is, uh, I don't know why, that these guys, I'm just a shit magnet, I swear to God. And while I've got you, I'll just read this very short exchange I had with a Tim Minchin. Though we can go have a look at this guy's profile if you like. Let me have a look. So this is his profile, right? He's got a hundred, you know, 1.6k followers, right? It says that he's a dancer. So I think this is actually his profile. Um... But, you know, it's obviously he's got a life over there. I don't think he even looks all that poor, to be fair. Does a lot of TikTok. But anyway, um, we'll leave Rash to his own Rash little choices. I'm just going to move over quickly over to Tim Minchin. So I'm trying to decorate for Christmas. I don't have energy at this point. So he tried to friend me, right? So he asked to follow me on Facebook. I said, this is nonsense. You're not really trying to approach an Australian while pretending to be an Australian. Even you guys can't be that dumb. And quite often that just stops them in their tracks and they don't bother. But oh no. Hello, fan. It's the real Tim Minchin, not an imposter. How are you doing? I said, prove it because I know how he writes and speaks. The management I work with asked me to open a private account just to reach out to some special fans like yourself. Much love, love heart eyes. God bless. Merry Christmas, love heart. I said, I bet you a $100 Steam card that you don't have an Aussie accent. And in response to the management um, asked him to open this, I said, no, no, they didn't. And you just made a huge mistake with that nonsense paragraph. I warned you at the start not to try this with an Aussie. You don't have what it takes. Guess you still highly doubt it's really me, question mark. But smiling face, by the grace of the Lord, I'm me and will always be me. No one can take my place, said no celebrity ever. 
I said, oh my God, you just don't get it, do you? You made a massive mistake apart from your awful English. So I know you're not Tim. Yeah, it's right to feel that way because things like this don't happen always, he says. This is a personal account and it's controlled by me. I got this to talk to million of fans out there, he said, his English getting even worse. I said, you're a Muppet. You have no idea who he is and your English is just awful. See, he says, I want you to know this bad people have made me look bad and I have so many haters in this world that won't work for themselves, but I want to use me as face of the world and scam people good to me. That's why I'm here to know more about that and I want you to know I am real and I will never lie to you about anything. I, I'm real, Tim Minchin. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, that was actually not easy to read. I said, you have no idea who he is, what he believes, or how he speaks. You're West African, most likely about 19 or 20. You made a massive mistake and you're too stupid to know what it is. I told you, you aren't good enough for this. Wow, you're a slow typer, because he was writing. You can go then if you don't trust me, said our triggered scammer. I said, you're a muggle who should be asleep in bed with his mummy and not trying to get clients by being someone smarter than you. You aren't smart enough for this little boy. At which point he blocks me immediately, but that's okay because I reported the account. <laughs> so that was just a little uh, additional, little addendum to the previous one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.